so the you know the it's, slave trade a era mm-hmm. you know, caused us to you know not have anything to do with wanting to keep our hair natural it's simple if you want to build a home talk mm-hmm. to the woman if you want to destroy a home talk to the, to the woman it's simple Preach. <laughs> it's so simple. I mean, you know what? Me, I tell people that I'm not a feminist. I'm not the kind of person who thinks me, women are equal to men. I don't think that. I feel like you're all special in our way. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you can never compare the woman's role to the man's role. Mm-hmm. If you want to build, go to the woman, give her the plan. She'll give it to the man. The man will do the physical part of it and let the woman do the backdrop thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the woman will do the assessment and everything, but the man will do the physical job because men are good at that. Mm-hmm. So when you want to intimidate someone, talk to her woman. If you want to destroy a man's life, talk to her woman. Just fill her head with crazy stuff. She will just start telling the man, "You are crazy. You are mad. You cannot do anything. You are useless." And then she just messes up her man. You okay. get it? Yeah. So it was just simple. These white people, they knew this. They knew how powerful the woman was. And so, you know what, if we want to break these Africans down, let's start with the women. Because they knew the women had, you know, yeah, and around their men. They had a way around everything. Mm-hmm. So let's start with self confidence. They broke the men. After breaking the men, they still saw that no, these slaves were still thriving. Why? Because the women would come after breaking the men, to destroying their egos, the, the black women would come in talk to the men and the men will bounce back mm-hmm, mm-hmm. no matter how many times you beat the man he will bounce back mm-hmm. because the woman would say something mm-hmm. you know and then make him feel like yes you are still up for this thing yeah so you know let's just destroy the woman's egos and then let's see what, what happens what happened? and they started and it was working they yeah. make you feel ugly your hair is bad this 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 you have wide hips so you're too thin fat. cold mm-hmm. your lips are too Off. thick Mm-hmm. And then the woman starts, you know, assimilating these things, and she starts going crazy. And you know how <coughs> women can go crazy. <laughs> she starts going crazy, and then that is it. Then the African society just came crumbling, just came crashing down because they destroyed our egos. And I'm telling you, every woman has a thing with her hair. Even me, mm-hmm. even in those days when I used to think like, you know, my hair, and I don't like, I'm not so attached to my hair, but I was. I wasn't attached to the permed kind of thing, mm-hmm. the roller. Mm-hmm. But when I got attached to my hair and I was doing my hair myself and, you know, I got to know my hair and I got to love my hair. It was a different thing for me. People would come and tell me, do my hair and all that. I would sit for like six hours and braid my hair myself. And my sister would tell me, you are a witch. Like, <laughs> they always <laughs> call you a witch when you, you do your hair. Did you? They Take always call you <laughs> and put it on your laps and braid the whole yeah. thing. Mm. This thing on my head, eh, mm. I can do it myself. That's I didn't do this impressive. myself because yeah, I had it's to, cool. I was doing I my hair like to to always, school. most of the time. You know, so yeah. I, think I don't have much time now because I'm working. Yeah, but Brian, I tell me if I'm wrong. I think you working more and more on, on your hair makes you fall in love with it. It does. You do. I, I, I told you the process of stepping, yeah. um, sitting so in I, front of the mirror exactly. and stuff. Yeah, so you when have I go to, to the salon, I know what to tell the lady, do this. And she's like, but you, you haven't. I said, it's my hair. I know what I'm talking about. Just mm-hmm. do this. And she does it and then my hair obeys. Afia. Yeah. So, so uh, can, we, can we make an exception for people who claim that, that keeping natural hair brings them some health risk? I've, I've, I know ladies who go like I tried it and I had difficulty maintaining it because my, uh, my scalp my, my was paining scalp. me yeah. I have the softest scalp they can be twins. Oh my and God. my hair <laughs> is the hardest <laughs> hair <laughs> no you can't make that exception to anyone again it's a personal decision sure, yeah. but no it's a flimsy excuse yeah, it's, 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 it's so st- I wouldn't say I wouldn't use silly, but it's well, like, see, um, I'm 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 even out of. Out of it. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> so like, the 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 natural hair for me is really safe. It's the safest because although you you can opt for organic products for your natural hair and mm-hmm. you'll be just fine and it will grow so well mm-hmm. even with just the organic products okay, so yeah. i don't see how you would choose permed hair Chemical. that you used 
so many chemicals in your hair to the natural hair that you can use organic stuff to grow your hair and get your beauty on point like like on point i didn't get it so so it means they are they are just finding excuses not to keep their natural hair it's not like it's going to affect their scalp so let me tell you something Mm. like she was saying i have the softest scalp and i have the hardest hair so even back when I used to like that combination my is serious. Mm-hmm. The moment the chemicals touch my scalp, my scalp is like so burning up. Mm-hmm. The moment all they, they wash it, wounds. there are wounds all over my head. Then I have to go under the dryer <laughs> and all that. How crazy is that? That's that a price for beauty. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> like, I, and I thought that was silly. One day I was sitting under the dryer and my eyes, and I can't go under the dryer with my with my spectacles. And I was just, I was like, you know, I had it, I had enough. I just told the woman, she's like, oh, what you know? Where? I'm like, you know what? I've had enough. Just I let opted, me go. I let me go. Opted for blow so dryer. I couldn't just. Stay it's not day. about um having excuses. Say me, me, me. I have an eye problem. I Sometimes when I'm um combing my hair, you know, because I can feel it. Feel it. Mm-hmm. I have an eye mm-hmm. problem. I've had it since I was eight years. And so I don't see why someone would just come and give a, a flimsy excuse. Like, if I, you know, growing my hair natural gives me a headache and then it gives me, yes, when I started, it would give me a headache because all my life, my, my roots, my scalp had not gotten used to the fact that my hair was supposed to grow. Because when my hair grew to a certain point mm-hmm. because of school, you yeah. had to shave it off. Mm-hmm. So it's a process. Your scalp has to get used I, I to it. Yeah. It has to get used to the whole new growth and everything, and you will be fine. If only you would be patient enough to wait patience wait. natural hair that's is process. all just about patience process. but people just give you the excuse and my scalp was please Bunty, <laughs> have, you, have you heard any of such excuse uh, people talking about not wearing natural because they feel they have I haven't this. I haven't, I haven't heard, uh, the, uh, heard that yet but then I feel like uh, when it comes to health mm-hmm. well I'm all for health so if you have a legitimate reason why you cannot keep you cannot your keep your, your natural hair. Yeah. And then for that, Personal I think I'll give you a pass. But other than that, seriously, I, I don't I don't see why not. It, I don't know why God will give you something natural and put it some was, risk. And it that listen, doesn't work. It doesn't make please, sense. I mean, I am not against anyone saying I have health issues. You know, don't we all have health issues? We all, we all do, do right? Yeah. But that is the hair that comes out of your head. Please and please again. That is what comes out of your head. How dangerous can Unless that be? Unless you are allergic <laughs> don't to you your own hair people, growing, then please try people, it. People even are using this health thing as a very convenient excuse not to, to not people, yeah yeah to, to, to go pain. natural. That's yeah, what the yeah, internet yeah. excuse. That's yeah. what I'm saying. People <laughs> so, people who usually use that excuse, they you feel bad that they can't grow their hair natural. <laughs> they feel bad themselves. And so they try to convince you, the person listening to them to also, you know, give them a pass, say why are you not mm-hmm. growing your mm-hmm. hair natural? Oh, so back to your other yeah, question. Uh-huh. As someone who appreciates natural hair, would you want to wear dreadlocks and why? I would want mm-hmm. to wear dreadlocks and, and why? <laughs> Before I did this, I had false locks on, mm-hmm. artificial locks on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I kept that I for five months. I loved my hair. I had my carries and everything. People thought it was real. And I have locks right now. Mm-hmm. Real locks, permanent locks. And I have braided the locks because I go to work and I don't want people talking about my hair because I don't want to fight with anybody, Nobody. you know, cause trouble over my hair. You get it? But at a, at, at a point to I come out. Locks. At a point, the locks will come out. The, I will remove this. And the locks and will come out. I will have my locks. Okay. I love locks. I w- I've been wanting to grow locks all like my whole life, and <laughs> the only reason why I didn't, I hadn't, I didn't start with locks was I wanted my hair to get to a certain length, mm-hmm. and I had that length. Okay. I didn't want short locks, so yes, I have my locks now. Fia, mm. you? I love locks too, a lot. But as to if I locks. would. Where uh, I love styling my hair a lot. Mm-hmm. I love changing my hair a lot. I feel like the locks is it will limiting. Limit you. No, that's something people, you know, the people who don't I can have style it. the locks, yeah. but yeah. I would. Okay, probably I'll get there. It's a transition. It's a, tra- it's a process. I'll, I'll, I'll get there. It's but for process. now, yeah. I love locks. I've I, been I, on the journey for two years. Yes. So after you've done all the, I I wore all the stuff. a full locks for like 
five months mm-hmm. i i just didn't want to take it off i loved it somebody would come and touch it and go like is it real i go like yeah <laughs> 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 with, with a little extension you know i loved it but yeah so i'm still struggling with the fact that i would have to keep the looks like just that one style forever mm-hmm. so if i have other alternatives i sure would go for looks but for now no. i'm just keeping the natural sure so Bonte, I want I want us to discuss this notion people have. Uh, it's everyone who wears dreadlocks ever still fearing. I think the answer is is very clear. I, I don't think that is the case. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do with your hair, and uh, but Rastafarians have been they they've been associated with dreadlocks. Yes, dreadlocks. with it. So people just assume, but I don't think that is the case. And let's get something straight. Rastafarianism is a religion. It's a religion. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like yes. Christianity, it's a beautiful religion, just like Islam and you know the traditional religion and exactly. all that. Exactly. So once you have, we have people who don't wear locks but are Rastafarians. Mm-hmm. Uh, may, they maybe at some point they had locks and then they decided to cut them off because, you know, they were having neck issues or whatever mm-hmm. but not everyone who has dreadlocks who has locks is a rastafarian i have locks now i'm not a rastafarian i'm a christian i'm a proud christian mm-hmm. who has locks because i feel like i'm an african i identify with that mm-hmm. hairstyle mm-hmm. and i don't like messing with my hair locks you know i like to give my hair room to operate cool so i chose to wear locks because of how convenient it is. Right. So no, not everyone who wears dreadlocks is a Rastafarian. Afia. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Do you think everybody wears dreadlocks is a Rastafarian? Oh hell no, no. As she said, um, it's a religion. It's a religion. And yes. You you might wear locks, but you don't you belong to that religion. So. But I think yes. a large pool of the people who 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 belong to the Rastafarian, yes, they, yes. They most of them wear locks. Mm-hmm. Most of them wear. Locks. Now most the trend is changing locks. because locks is becoming a thing. People are coming to understand it's that. Yes. You know it's, what? If it's, I mean, it's, like, there's nothing wrong with locks. Let's look at these. When we take these people who are on the streets who have psychological issues and yeah. mental issues, and when they leave their hair for a long time, naturally it's locks, right? Yes. So for the Africans who didn't have combs and all that, mm-hmm. that was us. And that's it's how our that is that is our hair. No, I mean, see, I see, no, that is your hair. No, 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 so you made, you, you made, a, you made a statement it. about you being a proud Christian and also having dreadlocks. Yes. Have you had issues going to church and people complain about your hair? My hair. Even mm. when I had the full locks and I told you mm. I had a carries in my hair and someone was like, and I sing at church, so I'm on this, I'm on the altar and I'm singing, Tracy don't care, long hair don't care, Natty hair don't care. People I don't, don't complain. Care what you Nobody say. complains. If you complain, it's in your heart now. Complain in your heart. <laughs> I just want to hear some of the things that they say. Oh, people, that people they say, say that, people that, like, that you, you, they don't say you have you have ah. red loss in your people, Yeah, people go like, eh, hey, so and I'm like, sometimes I want to be cheeky. I'm like, oh, I pay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I pay. I know your dog like, <laughs> oh, nah, hey, but they are to you. And I'm saying, I told one guy, yeah. Some people will go like, when you say, Oh, I didn't know who can say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, I know. With, with, with regards people, to you keeping love, they're like, about to hit you with something. Yeah, so yeah. like, yeah. you are Christian, so you don't have to do that. Why should a Christian hello, do that? Hello, hello, something <laughs> had locks. Something, they, something didn't have them, Samini, no neat locks. No. Mm-hmm. Something had huge jumbo, just seven locks on his head. What are you talking about? People just take their Bible, then they'll be interpreting it the way they want because it's I think usually them. those who want to do that are more often than not to the most misinformed. Mm-hmm. Or Charlie, like, that's yeah. why you see that's I, I that's why the, that's why this this is a very good topic. The spirit of natural hair. It's not a trend. It's not just a trend. Those of you have been keeping no. natural hair because you just want to so, feel beautiful. So. No, it, it, it's, it's the, beyond it's that. Spirit. Yeah. It's a spirit of natural hair. You need to understand your hair. How many times do guys go to the salon and like let me go and perm my hair and cut it. <laughs> you know, we have guys who always have chemicals in their hair and they cut it and all that and fine. But it's 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 something from within. You need to understand it. 
yes we have people who had locks and then they had spiritual connotations to which yes. they are they are gods or whatever told them to have that mm-hmm. but you know growing my hair i have come to understand it's a part of me like she was saying it's a yeah. learning process learning to love yourself Okay. It's the best yeah. thing you can do. So when, you when I had the courage in my head, I had people process, people like, tell me that hey, you are, you are about some four and I'm like, you know what? I understand that the white people came in and they made all kinds of unsavory statements and we yeah. accepted them. Mm-hmm. But Carries was an exchange mode, it was like money. Yeah. Yes. I'm a musician, it might represent wealth to me, it might represent good fortune to me, but to you now which you wanna wound him now, you are you know, you don't know much about it. You think it's all about fetish and so it has so no this, fetish this, connotation. This, this goes to what I was saying about the fact that uh, they don't. It, it's like we've gotten to ignorant. the point where we've become ignorant, and the yeah. very things that make us African. African. Yes, yeah, we now, want to, now, to Yes, because yeah. somebody black tells girl. You that, okay, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 was on the same yeah or true. Yeah. Like black that. girl, black. you are you are true. being bad for being black. Yeah. So my next question. Have yeah. we been well represented when it comes to keeping our natural hair, for example, in the entertainment industry? Presentation if, if, industry. If, if I'm to score, mm-hmm. I'll give like 30. <laughs> <laughs> 30%. Yes, 30%. Yes, 30%. I love what Dinah Hamilton is doing right now. Mm-hmm. She's all for natural. I love her hair. I love every bit of it. Okay. I love Miss V. I love Becca. But there aren't much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel they could do more. Again, it's their own decision whether they want to do natural or go pendant. But we've not been like they are they are the influencers mm-hmm. so they could do much more Whoa. okay mm-hmm. to create awareness, awareness yes i feel they they have so much more to do but again it's a process so yes we'll i get, get you we we'll get there yeah. Panos. so the entertainment industry well people in the entertainment industry are regular people mm-hmm. who sing and do all entertain us and yes we are still the minority, people with natural hair. Mm-hmm. But then people are coming to understand. I know for some people it's just a trend. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not yes. it's not a spirit they have. Yeah. You know, we have people like um Wiz Khalifa, we have people like the Smith, mm-hmm. Willow Smith and Jaden Smith, they mm-hmm. have their locks. We have a, so many um people with locks, who future and all those people, mm-hmm. you know, who have locks. And, you know, it's I think it's getting there. People are getting to people like me. Mm-hmm. There are people like me who are coming to understand that I have this connection with my hair that I need to mm-hmm. learn about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know that maybe in a year or two, my, I might feel like cutting off my locks, shaving it all off, and starting over again. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. I don't mind at all. Bunty. So. Yeah. I think I think we are making strides. In the entertainment industry. Yes. In, yes. Because. Yeah, I just I just looked up some few celebrities and I, and I was happy, especially uh, the the female celebrities. I was happy that they were, they were going natural and other mm-hmm. things because it's if cool. once they have the well, platform and they are doing it, mm-hmm. it will also encourage a lot of people to do the same. Be, because when we look at this whole conversation, even though we are talking about hair, the emphasis seems to be more on females than, than males. males. Mm-hmm. Because for men, nobody it's like nobody really. Cares, cares about, about your hair, unless of course you are what people say metrosexual. You are somebody who really cares about they every tiny, teeny tiny. Every yes, yeah. exactly. So then you would want to pay attention to your hair. You can look at yes. some of these celebrities in Ghana, like Lydia Paulson, Let's look at Nelson, Nelson. All these people are, you know, doing the and, 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 natural and, 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 hair. And, and, we seem to be forgetting these people who are not necessarily. Celebrities in, yeah, the, in the in sense the of the way you know, you have the lines of gifty affinity, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, they, they, yeah, they used to rub their hair natural, natural. natural. Gifty has rubbed her hair natural think, for uh, as long as uh, Miss uh, Joyce, Joyce, are you? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, she's yes. had her locks for like ages, ages, ages. yeah, true, yes. Yeah. So and she's done their natural, yeah. you know. We'll, we'll, get there. <laughs> we'll get there. 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 We'
with time people understand that i told you i have i know people who have natural hair beneath their weights Mm-hmm. And they never show it outside. Or the day, the or day was they would, yes, the you day know, they would. It, it would take out. some time for those people to feel like. I think people are too you know, terrified to. They are terrified because they don't want to have to deal with the questions. You know, it the can be annoying. Yeah, it can be annoying and I mean, irritating. Yeah. If somebody is asking about your hair and it doesn't, it's not very it's polite. Happens. Yeah, true or, true. or you can tell that the way the person is asking the question is like the person yeah. just wants to stero- reinforce you. their yeah. stereotype or intimidate so you, that kind of thing. True. true. So in order for me not to deal with with it, then hey, let me just yeah. do mainstream. What so everybody. A couple doing. of years ago, when like we we're, were in Spain, mm-hmm. and where I think we're like the whole campus where the few blacks we are about we are about ten. Mm-hmm. There, we're from our, our school, our university, and we went there. And so, we had my class mm-hmm. was generally a foreign class, a mixture mm-hmm. of people from different countries there to learn my language. Okay. And so, people see my hair, and then my my lecturer asked me, "Is that your hair?" And I said, "Yes." And I, and she was like, "It's different. How why is your hair different from hairs and hairs?" She was pointing to all the other girls, mm-hmm. and I said, "This is our real hair. This is how our real <laughs> hair looks like. Yeah. Our hair is not straight like yours. These yeah. are just they are wearing your hair on their head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is like my real hair." And she was like, "Can I touch it?" And I don't like my hair being touched. She would attest to that. Yeah. I hear yeah, yeah, people yeah. touching my. I don't know why people always want to. Yeah. I, 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 like I, like I said, I have a spiritual thing with my hair, so like, and yeah, easy. You can't just come and touch my hair. She was like, Can I touch your hair? I was like, Yeah. So, most of the time over there, even though I basically generally spent a lot of time during autumn and winter, and mm-hmm. those are the difficult times to keep your, your natural hair over there, mm-hmm. I always had my hair out, mm-hmm. you know, and people would come up to me. I had this friend I was doing a language exchange with, I used to go to his house and then we learn and all that. And he'd be like, wow, that's your hair. Can I touch your hair? And I'd be like, yeah, you can touch it. Oh, my God. You're like, your hair is so soft. And I'm like, yeah, your hair is soft. Too. And he's like, no, like, yours is different. And I'm like, yeah, it's different from yours. But they are soft. So mm-hmm. with time, through, you know, some of us can allow, through us, people will celebrate black hair. True. Black hair is fun. True. Okay, black True. hair is gorgeous. True. Our hair is beautiful. It's what comes out of you. And she said, wow, if you will move on, you I think I think people can admire natural hair from a distance. You don't yeah. necessarily have to because fine, maybe you may be cool with it, but I don't think everybody. No, 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 not everybody. Say, Afi, no. I don't know about you. Do you do you like people That's touching right. your natural hair and feeling it? No, not uh-huh. really. But if I see that it has it has the it has the potential, potential to let, to let you convince you mm-hmm. in some way. Sure. Cool. Advocate. Going to my next question. Some people have been denied some privileges and opportunities because of their natural hair, even by people of their own race. Yes. Do you think is the cause of? Do what do you think is the cause of this? And in what ways can we end it? I think I think we need we need more education. Mm-hmm. We need more education. Africans yes. are re- rediscovering themselves. Mm-hmm. You see. Um, Maybe perhaps because we are in Ghana and um, we are all blacks, mm-hmm. the discrimination doesn't seem to be that uh, widespread as compared to people in other areas like the U.S. and so on. You you read about people being discriminated against all the time. Mm-hmm. People can't get uh, jobs, can't get jobs, can't even get an apartment. You want to go and rent a place, and then the landlord looks at you. Okay, you have. <laughs> so natural, you natural have hair. Dreadlocks. Yeah, dreadlocks. Yes, what, what, you, you, what you might it? be a criminal. Mm. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Probably some gang member or some. You, you might be mm. dealing in some drugs or anything. drugs or something yeah. like that. So, so people have been discriminated against because of the hair they have, and I think this in the same uh, vein, the same way by which we had all those miseducation and everything coming through, we can use those same platforms. To now re-educate people for them to embrace, understand. yes, and then understand that someone. look, this is who we are. True, this is who we are, and yeah, even some of the the words that they are using to like uh, denote what uh, natural hair or like Afro or what black hair stands for, we can actually uh, embrace it. Like Tracy said, like nappy. nappy now becomes natural, natural and, and happy. then happy. Yes, yeah, so fine. Let them. Call you whatever oh, did you want. attempt it? So embrace it and then the show that yes, true. This is this you is slaying your nothingness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <True. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. the, the, our education system can even inculcate a part that we will learn about ourselves, like our natural. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 I mean, oh, yeah. you know, the whole thing, people had this thing when you go to secondary school, you have to cut your hair, and mm. it doesn't do it. So I didn't know, I mean, I'm so. I still do. Why? Even just yes, girls was done. can still have their hair, and you, the women learn. You know, when our parents were older and they used to braid their hair in secondary schools, eh? They used mm-hmm. to braid each other's hair. Wait mm-hmm. now, or baby, wait. Yeah. We are now wait now. Now, yeah. so at the end of the day, the lady comes that, out of school with yeah, some skills. skills. Yeah. yeah. So why don't we go back to that? And then we go like cut your hair, and then when the child complete, now they you know for sure wait ten T B now. Or the new man be a shishe ne ni se or yet then. We seem not to. Accept like something I set herself until some foreigner somewhere does it and then it becomes mainstream in like, China. I think all the other things wigs, about so the African I can't wear wigs. that I can't people wear wigs. didn't like. So now you have white people doing them and then suddenly Chinese it becomes a Chinese have Afro friend. hair, Chinese chromo pig. When you go to China, when you go to Asia, now they have a means of turning their silky straight hair into Afros. So they have fake afros with their own hair. They have you a see, way of so, so you are rejecting and somebody yeah. is erasing it. So when they you like said it. that they they wanted to take away everything that made us Afri- I, I, I think that is, I think okay. that is what started um the trend of us ah. cutting our hair oh, to yes. be in school. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now we say that we are free from slavery oh. and yes. we are still doing the things they said we should we, we do. Should do. Yes. I think it's yeah. high time they allow us to be who we are, keep our hair and yes. then express no, ourselves. No, you see the white people they've allowed us so but you know I think we no, need like to, we need to do, still that yes, we need to do uh, See, homework. and then yeah, physical and uh, mental slavery. It's, we are still following true. the uh, trend still, are, they made for exactly, us. Exactly, exactly. That's we the mental. Our head. Yes. Yes. Now they are not there as anymore. As well. So they should. We our leaders now should allow. I know. Us. I know people who went to work and they were told go home and go and change your hairstyle. But let me tell you, I t- I tell people all the time. It's about the way you carry yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me, I told you. Bunti, yeah. I told you when I came out, most people say like, I will you rude, like I'm rude, like they see me and they think I'm disrespectful. Yes, because I will not stand there and, and have an angelic face for you to come and, you know, talk trash to me. Yeah. We will go for a job interview. Like, I can go to work with some hairstyles and nobody will say anything. Another person will wear a similar hairstyle and they will talk. Why? Because Tracy will not come and stand there and smile with you. Mm-hmm. That's my hair. Yeah. And you know, I, I will not be apologetic about my hair. I'm unapologetically about natural. My hair. I'm gonna kill okay, you. I'm unapologetically <laughs> natural. Yeah. And see, I went to school with my carries and everything and everyone was looking at me. But nobody said Jack. there. Yeah. You know? Then a colleague of mine goes and she has cornrows and they come and tell her your hair is not professional. Yeah. So go and change it. And so I asked her, I said, like, are you going to change it? She said yes. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably when she was confronted, she couldn't stand her ground. So yeah, she couldn't true. justify why because she's keeping it. It could have been an opportunity no, but to re- re-educate they, whoever was asking her. When I had her mine, to. they didn't ask me, you know, but they asked her. So it, it depends no, on how you carry yourself. They've heard because about you, they've heard because, you talk, and then they no, know that they've hey, probably seen the carries in my hair. So that one, Alone it spells them. rebellion. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> one alone spells rebellion. You see, see no. Afia, there is a full knowledge out there that keeping and maintaining natural hair is expensive. Do you agree or disagree? I disagree. Mm-hmm. Why? You don't have to buy all those expensive products on the market to mm-hmm. keep your hair the natural. Hair. Yes. You can do so many things. You can do um, rice water treatments. You can do so many organic treatments, which doesn't cost much Mm -hmm. and still have your hair. It's all about the things that work for you. Know your hair. When you get to know your hair, you can treat your hair in such a way that it wouldn't cost you much. You don't have to visit the salon every two weeks. You can Afric- you can do African threads on your hair okay. and then it would get so detangled. You don't have to get the detangling brush. That- no. Mm-hmm. It-, it can be effortless and wow. less expensive if you want it to be. Thanos. See, uh, those people who say natural, keeping natural hair is expensive, they are the trend setters. They are following the trend. If you are, if you are being Pan African or you are being spiritualist, yes, you, 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 
your being natural stems from the spiritual or the emotional side. There's no way you are going to be getting all this. Let me tell you, I told you know me now. Mm. Me, <laughs> <laughs> Tracy. Tracy, Tracy. Tracy will you not know, go and spend her money buying some shampoo. I've been washing my hair with Alex and Semina for years. Black soup. Mm. I make so. my hair, I make my own shampoo. Me to me, I am a conditioner, I can't come here, I make internet, so send me conditioner, but now a long process. <laughs> I didn't have that time to come and be mixing, mixing chemicals to do my own conditioner. So I just use mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, yeah, idea, salad, yeah. Mm-hmm. I use honey Tasty. in my hair. Mm-hmm. Like the things I, I use egg. egg, I use ginger, I mm. use onion in my hair. So when people come and tell me natural hair is expensive, oh, they just don't want to keep natural hair. It's an excuse. Natural hair is very expensive. Then they'll go and be buying. We say now everyone is doing natural hair products. Please. But Tracy, don't you think maybe there are people who want to go? natural natural okay. yeah. but then they may not have the time the knowledge the space and everything to to do okay. those things that you're talking so about so you want to so be then rich. They, they would want to wait till. they would want to buy these products uh-huh. and and i feel and like these products if, are expensive if, yeah they are expensive because those doing the natural hair for now they are minority and when you are doing things the economy of skill and can see if say, who now who keep in natural hair no will say you don't have the time, but you have the money. Okay, if you have the money, you can go and waste it. But you know, you can also come and give me half of the money, and then <laughs> I will make some things for you and reuse. I I think those people seriously they should be looked at because we we can't say that well if you want to go natural and you can't get time to. Uh, no, do you know see, the there is still so not natural. We just, natural. We should just. So you 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 want? I kept my follows for five months okay. before I did I treated my hair mm-hmm. right yeah for the five months I never went to the saloon mm-hmm. I was always washing on my own mm-hmm. drying on naturally yeah. mm-hmm. so, how expensive can that be expensive. how like, time consuming will that be like me. you have to get to that knowledge mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Yeah. that you can do this without actually going to the saloon okay. without spending that much on your hair so mm-hmm. When I'm going to bath, instead of going to work at 8, I will go to work at 8. So I wake up like 5. Mm-hmm. In the shower, I do everything I have to do on my hair. Okay. Tread it. Mm-hmm. When, when, when it's, time. it's time to go, I loosen it. Mm-hmm. I go out. How time consuming can that be? You can't spend 30 minutes for your hair. Wait, so people have people will you be know. having time to go on Instagram. Instagram means snip, snap, 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 sniping here and there. <laughs> you don't have time for your hair. You go and sit in the saloon, then someone come and will treat your hair. Right. Now, about the complaint, it's obey to a team. Said you don't have to, it's, it's not about money. Share, share those, those who want to, those who want access to maybe exactly, maybe you have a formula. You, you've yeah. been doing your hair, your natural hair for a while. You have a formula when, that, when I started, that works for you. Mm-hmm. So, you are like, hey, why don't I? make this into a business a because business. a number of black yeah. women have done it and they've become very successful yeah. business women mm-hmm. and they are having all these products out yeah. there so we need people buying these products yes yeah. okay but so so the thing is that both sides of, of the argument is valid is, is, is yeah. valid no you know i don't you, have you, a problem you, with people who have the money yeah, to buy so, their so, products. so how do we get it to become cheaper you okay. can't for that mm. one you can't get it to mm. become cheaper. I used my chemicals to make that unless, product so you unless, can't let me unless reduce the, the price. number of natural increase. Mm-hmm. Yes, Such definitely. Simple, you know, yes. demand and supply. Right. The exactly. law of demand and yeah. supply comes yeah. in. But let's forget about the law of demand and supply. Okay. So maybe and in let, the interim let's they talk can talk about do the interim where are people are saying say mm-hmm. it's expensive. Mm-hmm. You know people have the notion that keeping natural hair it's not. Mm-hmm. It might be time consuming but it's not. Combing your hair might might not take this thirty seconds permed hair takes. Mm-hmm. But it's not expensive at all. Like I was saying, me I am not I'm a minimalist. It's yeah. me me and your ma mm. I like to, you know, go the barest it's way. I don't exactly. like to complicate my life. Okay, yes. that's so all. I will not go to the saloon. People say, Oh, make your protein treatment, then they'll go and buy something in a jar, mm-hmm. they mix, mix some things, and then I'll mix, mix my own things at home. <laughs> I know people this morning, someone was telling me, Say, eh, My hair is weak, and my hairstylist says I should come for it to give me some treatment to do. And I was like, You know what? Have you been doing this? Have you been doing that? And I started asking him, Oh, see, I do it. But honestly, you don't just, it's like a hey, yeah, Juma. So, all this thing. And yeah, yes. Uh-huh. 
Afia, uh, Tracy, uh -huh. you guys have the knowledge of missing stuff and uh -huh. don't can't you guys come when, together? When I when I started, mm -hmm. right? I didn't know Jack. I didn't know Jack. I just knew that I had cut my hair. Okay. And I'll wake up and I'll go to the saloon and then they wash. Then with time, I figured I could wash it myself. So okay. I started washing it myself. Then I learned how to thread it. It, it came so naturally. I, I, I was even surprised. <laughs> so yes, I started threading my hair myself. So for like a year, I had not put any product apart from shea butter. Mm -hmm. I would just, yeah. I'll just wash my hair on my own. Sometimes black soap. Or if it's my hair curls a lot, so if it's very unbearable, I didn't know how to detangle then. So I'd go to the saloon, do the detangling, come do my African thread, mm -hmm. and then it would just. I would just can't leave can't it. you all come uh -huh. together or like host seminars for young ladies who want to also yeah, do YouTube, it? Yeah, you too. But that and I will not come yeah. together and host seminar for anyone. Let me tell you why I will not come together with anyone to host seminar for Tell anyone. me. Mm -hmm. Tell me. When people want to learn about unnecessary things, they go on Twitter, they go on Instagram, they go on <laughs> Snapchat, they go and look for it. But then once they hear no person be fine if you bet na baby can be be chill. You know what? It's it's high time people learn to do things on their own. Say, mm -hmm. I am, I let me take the risk and go into this thing and try it. If it doesn't mm -hmm. work for me, I go back to what I knew. Use your Instagram, use your Twitter account for better things and stop snapping pictures. Eh, it will there not are, bring you anything. Learn. Are, Let's learn. I mean, there are YouTube channels. You can go to, we that, have so many that, people that, blogging that about doing natural hair. Yes. Go there. Instagram, in you get hair, so many people. handles. You can ask your fellow. Mm -hmm. Her, her, her procedure might not work for you, mm -hmm. but hair, you could try. Our hair is different, so yes. try it. Just we are, you see, our educational soap. system is used to be be they force feed us. Mm -hmm. They force feed us. So when we go to the university, we don't like it because they lecture you and you have to go and learn the things on mm -hmm. you. We don't like it. Yeah, learn it on your own. Learn it. So essentially, you need Come to discover the formula me. that works, works, that works for you. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. that's yeah, the basic. Okay. You know, I was telling okay. her she may be my hair twin. We have yeah. the same. We have the same issues, but different treatments for different things yeah. yeah. so just try things at home people shouldn't just stay back and say you know sir, natural hair is expensive and it comes mm -hmm. from the fact that ubiya can into what mm -hmm. into what they it seems that natural hair and, is and, expensive and, and, to me it even provides a, a, a nice escape for those who okay. don't, who want, don't to, want to do don't it don't want to do it in you the first place you can go and buy at a seminar like two cds or five cds hey. and use it for months to wash your it's hair it's the simplest day you, know, well, you go and buy the bottled maybe l'oreal mm. shampoo Mm -hmm. That kind of lovely shampoo for like twenty Ghana or something, mm -hmm. and that like a seminar will cost yeah. you five cents. And you can yeah. you can use the other shampoo for like probably like two. Let nights. me throw this question to Afia. Okay. Sanyapo say that natural hair is smelly, oh. no kept. Oh. What is your experience with this? Oh, <laughs> I had a lecturer that sat me almost every time she, she, she saw me because wow. to her. My natural was always like I could spend hours detangling just so that I could get a a, a popping afro mm -hmm. and go to class and she go like what have you done? Wow! What is this? What is this? It's out of my class. It's a perception. <laughs> but no, yeah, there are some people that don't really know how to go about their hair but no it's not unkempt and it's not smelly. It will be smelly only if you allow it to be. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, natural hair is so simple to keep um, clean. smelling good and clean than the pen okay. hair. Because I, ju I can just go under the shower and wash my hair and come out and African thread and come out so clean, mm -hmm. so natural, so everything. Mm -hmm. With a pen there, you can't do that. You have to wait for two weeks, one week. Uh, go to the saloon, use all the chemicals in your hair before you can wash your hair. Mm -hmm. I can just go under the shower and I'm done and I have my clean no, hair. So, it. no, it's not smelly unless you allow it to be. Yeah. Fanos, any experience like that? Yeah, so cleanliness is next to godliness. Mm -hmm. Everyone's hair smells. Have you met white people with smelly hair? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aish, it's even worse. Have you met those people, Caucasians with smelly hair? No. Obia hair smells, okay. 
you all have smelly hair just keep it clean that's yes all. you just have and to people have the perception that natural hair is supposed to look if it's black it is supposed to look shiny and like sh- the mm-hmm. the idea of something straight and shiny is cool but because this is a rough and coarse somehow they just and you know for me my hair is not jet black mm-hmm. it has a red or white tint yeah. in it mm-hmm. yeah, into so mm-hmm. it's not jet black so are you going to say because my hair is not all black it is dirty mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. so it's uh, uh, yes, it, it's still you know a process of moving from the mental slavery thing you know growing you up know? growing up mm-hmm. um, we, we used to ask ourselves questions like when we see a raster man and we go like hey <laughs> I mean, how, how did he get that done? And, and they have so many negative things. Yeah, around it. Neg- yeah, yeah, so we used to hear things like, okay, I learned that from time to time they crack mm. eggs Cousia, and then no, yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> put, it inside put it inside. Then someone would go like, yeah. ah, in the end, my name born. Yeah. 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 I do that to my hair. stinky I or something. Hair. So I put eggs and other things in my hair. I think I, that is where the thing is mm-hmm. coming from. So, true, true. Yes, and keeping true. natural hair, you know, people think it's all about the hair. For me, it's not about the hair, it's about my insides. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how the rest of the also see. If you eat right, your hair, and then I may make us a mimic and a spiritual thing. I eat right. I know what I want to eat. I told you I don't take these, I don't take these fizzy drinks anymore. These Coke and all that sweet stuff. I've stopped. Nobody will have me jaydi, and I eat certain things because I have it. People have these things there. Natural hair doesn't grow. I wanted to prove to myself that my hair can grow beyond a certain point. Okay, let me throw back this question. The last oh. question for our podcast, our part two: Are there economical ways to keep the natural hair without spending much? Yes. Like I want please. to, I want you to to yes, go please. deep, like yes, share yeah. some knowledge about it. She's eight years old. Let her speak first. Okay. There are economical ways. Yeah. Okay. Share some. There are economical ways. You don't have to be rich to have natural hair. Mm-hmm. Like we were saying, instead of buying all these shampoos, shampoos, shampoos on the shelves that are expensive, you can use Alata Semina. Mm-hmm. People call black it black soap. soap. Me, black. I say it is Alata Semina. That is the name from Ghana. Let's just call it Alata Semina. Mm-hmm. And it's, the Alata Semina should go worldwide because that's the name of the soap. Okay. Okay. So just put use, it in your hair. Just use it to wash your hair. Mm-hmm. Get these normal conditioners that people are using to condition their hair. Yeah. You can condition your hair with a mixture of honey and eggs and pear mm-hmm. and all that. You blend, you blend it together. You put them together, yes, and you put it in your hair, and then you can for a while, thirty it's minutes, to one hour, minutes. and then you can wash it. Okay. Okay. You don't need to be buying all these weird natural products that people are selling on the internet. Almost so, I like the same way. You get it. So Afia. why can't you do that in your house? Afia. Any any way to keep the natural hair to yeah. make our way? Yes. As she said, um, the reason it's expensive uh, is mainly because of the products that you buy, and then having to visit the salon. The salon. And they, they take so a lot of money yes. because they say your hair yes. is natural. Mm-hmm. So, so the first the first thing it. you can do is learn things for yourself. Okay. I twist my hair myself. <laughs> I style my hair. This I have when I did it myself. You have to be able to invest in your hair the by w- yes by way of learning to treat your hair yourself. That is the basic, basic way thing. of mm-hmm. cutting cost. Mm-hmm. Then you learn how to treat your hair your on your own. Get products that work for you. You can start with the basic ones: alata semina, okay. mayonnaise. Um, egg for protein treatment mm-hmm. learn about it when you learn about it you learn the organic means of getting your hair done you know mm-hmm. and then you cut cost people That's, talk about fighting yes. dandruff i have dandruff then they go and buy chemicals and drugs and stuff you can use lemon juice to wash okay. your hair you can use um olive oil to you know for your hair to keep it moisturize from the dryness and all that okay you can use ginger you can use only there are so many things you can use um vinegar apple cider vinegar okay so basically when you go to these shops and you buy all these things packaged things they are expensive but when you there are natural ways you can get natural things we sell in the market yes 
they are not bottled very... or packaged like the factory type and you can just use them so they anybody li- cheaper anyone listening to this podcast and wants to know more about keeping a natural hair how can they get in touch with you two like any place they can get in touch and be yeah, sharing knowledge and all that you could link up on my social media handles uh, yeah. okay on instagram afia jaman afia jaman yeah and on facebook afia bafi okay so yeah sure so people can link up yeah so me I'm not, I'm not on social media <laughs> so like i said learn <laughs> learn for yourself for yourself yeah me, I, if you meet me yes i will tell you something but like so we come to the end of our podcast episode on this topic not the spirit of natural hair before we go our concluding mm-hmm. message Bonti, let me start with you well I'll, I'll say that um, we shouldn't leave the discussion of just our hair mm-hmm. as Africans we should rediscover ourselves Okay. Learn to embrace ourselves. Everything about ourselves is beautiful. Yeah, People true. pick it up, re- redefine it, and then bring it back, back to, to us where? before we uh, uh, accept. Why do we need to seek validation from other people exactly. before we, we accept who we are? Exactly. So I think we need more education. Exactly. Thank you. Panos. Okay, so mine is simple. Learn for yourself. I don't know if you, it, it's coming from within you. If you cannot learn to love it, who will teach you to love it? I don't know if you will move. You know, True. it's like a mother giving birth. True. If after giving birth, going through all that torture for nine months, and the baby comes out and you will not love it, no one will teach you or no one can teach you to love that child. True. It's as simple as that. Yes. And then we should stop trying to seek validation from other places. Yeah. What comes out of you is good. Mm-hmm. Even if it feels bad at that moment, look for the good within it. There's True. something good within it. Look for it. Search for it yourself. Sometimes you need some people to push you in a certain direction. That's okay. No problem. But try it. Don't just go and say, oh, if you're across that Indian or Bray, it's a natural hair because I didn't change it yet. Try it. I thought I had coarse hair. My hair was so hard that. Even when I pimped it with chemicals, it wasn't working. But when I went natural, it was like my hair was like it was cool. Cool, yeah. So people should let's discover things for ourselves. True. That's how we go. Afia. Okay. <coughs> um, I would like to say that you are African. Mm-hmm. Let nobody convince you otherwise. Mm-hmm. Your hair is also part. Your hair makes you African too. So you don't have to apologize for wanting to be who you wow. are. True. That is your uh, your identity. Embrace it and wear it with pride. So True. yes. Thank Keep you. Keep your hair natural if you want it. No, no, no. It's True. Okay. I also say that we came out so natural when we were babies and going through the system of adulthood. We get to that point that society wants to break us into to changing us to another thing yeah. and we come to that point of again learning to be ourselves again yeah. I think it's, it's mandatory every day and every day we have to sit down and reflect on ourselves and who we are and everything to accept our realness what God intends us to be and Africans are unique from the white man so your uniqueness will always will always be your, your power your protection there's a reason why the ladies have nappy hair God yeah. knows best and why he placed us under this sun in Africa. Yeah. So just embrace it and don't don't feel inferior that you are different and you need somebody's validation to be to be there. Yes. You're already perfect. So thank you for listening. This is Two Madden Podcast. Our episode was the natural the spirit of natural hair. I had finals, I had Afia and I had Bonti. Thanks for coming. Bye. See you following submission. I know you're wishing that you could let your head down and mirror my emission. So why you worrying about being the outcast? Don't you know to be yourself and never ask permission? My short shorts.